Well, 16 regional championship games on the diamond for baseball and softball today. Eight more in lacrosse. So let's start on the diamond. Southern A baseball championship at USM in Gorham, South Portland. The two seed, Thornton the four seed. These schools have been in a lot of big games lately, doing it again tonight. Scoreless into the sixth. Then Jeremiah Chessy of Thornton, the nubber. Henry Lozier comes in to score. Thornton would score twice in the inning to go up 2 nothing. Red Riots would respond in their half of the sixth. Nolan Hobbs, the big hit to right. Part of the core four, Richard Gilboy scores is 2-1. Then with the bases loaded, Easton Healy, the grounder to second, putting the ball in play, and good things happen. Two score, South Portland up 3-2. They get one more to go 4-2 into the top of the seventh. They turn it over to the league MVP, Andrew Heffernan, with a strikeout to end it. 4-2, South Portland is headed to the state final. It's just like we drew it up right there. Four runs in the bottom of the six. I mean, it's an amazing effort from the boys. I mean, just so, so happy for them right now. We got one more. A baseball championship Cinderella special. Seven seed Bangor, eight seed Edward Little. Eddie's up 6-3 in the third. Bangor with a tying run at the plate, but Drew Smith gets out of the jam with a grounder to short. Then to the top of the fourth. It's Smith doing some damage with the bat. This is a double to center field to start a rally. He'd advance the third and then score on a single by Gage Ducharme. 10 to 6, Edward Little moving to the state final for the first time since 1992. All right, Southern B Baseball at St. Joe's, Cape Elizabeth and Yarmouth. Clippers jumped out to a 3 0 lead on a David Swift homer. Capers rally. Charles Song doubling to left field, knocking in Gabe Harmon. Capers down 3 2 in the third. The Yarmouth responds. It's Graham Rue knocking in Jack Jancic. The Clippers. Get some insurance. They're up four to two. Liam Hickey on the mound. What a season he's had. Closes it out. Goes the distance. Four to two. Yarmouth. They're going to the state game to face Old Town on Saturday. Class C South Championship. 17 and one Monmouth. 18 and 0 Sokopee. Top of the third. Kaya Poleski. The fly to right field. And this is going to be a sacrifice fly as Sam Calder comes in to score and Mama takes a 1-0 lead. And that's all Calder would need. He was an escape artist today. In a jam in the sixth, Owen Harding makes the sprawling tag at third to get him out of the inning. And then in the seventh, with more base runners on, Calder again gets out of the jam with a strikeout. 1-0 Monmouth will face Bucksport in the state final. Southern D baseball tonight, Searsport and defending state champ St. Dom's. Top of the first inning, Miles Frenette rips the double to center field. Tim Ouellette scores, 1-0 Saints. They had a big first inning later in the inning. Ethan Pelletier, the RBI single to center, knocks in Fournette. Saints score four in the inning. They're up 4-0. Ouellette went the distance on the mound. 4-1 St. Dom's. They move on to face Bangor Christian in the state final in Class D baseball. Hey, let's go to softball. Oxford Hills and Skowhegan in Orono for the A North Championship. Bottom of the first, Kira Morse. She's leaving. The Viking pitcher with the solo homer. 1-0 Oxford Hills. Later it's 3-0 and the Vikings playing some good D. Allison Day coming out of nowhere making the diving catch. Now Skowhegan will get two in the seventh to tie it at three. Bottom of the seventh, Oxford Hills loads the bases. Maddie Miller with a shot into the outfield. That ends it 4-3 Oxford Hills moving on to the state championship game. Who would they face? Wyndham and Bitterford playing in the south. They split in the regular season expecting a pitcher's duel and Wyndham gets on the board in the third. Book Gary. Going the other way, the double. That's going to play Chloe Edwards, 1-0 Eagles. They weren't done in the inning. Stella Jarvis grounds one up the middle to score Gary. Jaden Kimball would also add a two-run homer. Gary did the rest, a complete game. Two-hitter with 12 strikeouts, 5-0 Wyndham. Eagles go to their first state, uh, state title game in Class A to face the Vikings. To finally be here, it's, like I said, hard work pays off. We've really dug deep this year, and we've really worked hard at practices, and not even just at practices, but also team bonding. The first, it's Maddie Raymond lacing one to right field. That's going to be a triple. Maddie Fitzpatrick scores 1-0 York. Later in the inning, Emily Estes, the single to right. That's going to knock in Michaela Cortez, 3-0 Wildcats. And Cortez would hit a grand slam in the second. 8-1 York over Lake Region. They face Nokomis in the state final. Class C South Championship Monmouth, the top seed, despite facing a Haldale team which came in on a 54 game win streak. Tied at one going into the third, but the inning was disastrous for Monmouth. Ashlyn Donahue walks with the bases loaded to force one in. Bulldogs putting pressure on the defense. Jay Graham, the hard hit ball, Rita Benoit comes in to score. So does Zoe Soul. That's the beginning of things. Still playing aggressive. Mira Skihan grounds out. 
Lucy Gray scores. They get nine in the inning. Monmouth with seven errors in the game. Rita Benoit holds them off 15 3 in a five inning Mercy game. They'll go for the three port against a three peat against Bucksport. Southern D softball, NYA, and defending state champ Searsport. Searsport up 1 0 in the sixth. Kalney McIntyre reached on an error, stole two bases, and scores on a wild pitch to tie the game. But in the bottom of the seventh, heads up play here by Hayden Winkowski. The throw on the hit by Cammie Casserly goes to first, and then Winkowski comes in to score from second. The game winning run. NYA wins the South Championship. They face Matthias in the state final. All right, let's